One of the first stops that Joyce and I made in South Dakota was at the world's only corn palace, which is off of exit 332 along I-90 West. While this might not sound like the most exciting destination, it is actually pretty cool and it's free. So if you're driving down I-90, it's a great place to stop, stretch your legs, use the bathroom, and take a look around. The building was completed in 1921 and it's filled with crop art. They have a lot of impressive murals on the inside and outside of the building that are made of mostly corn and corn husks. And every year they have a new artist come and replace them with their own. It's actually pretty interesting to check out. It's worth stopping by. And like I said, it's free. You can drop in, stretch your legs, grab some popcorn, take a look around, and then head out to your next destination. Our next stop in South Dakota was an 1880s town, which is off of exit 170 and I-90 West. It costs about $12 for adults, $7 for teens, and it's free for kids under five. When you first get there, you pass through this museum that has all sorts of antiques, memorabilia, and movie props ranging from the 1880s to the 1920s that are all true to the West. After passing through the museum, you walk out into the town and it's like stepping back in time. From what we were told, all these buildings have been relocated here and are true to the time period. This place is a lot of fun for adults and kids because you can walk around, get into everything, and get lost. One of our favorite buildings was the old Marshall's office, which is just one of the 30 plus buildings that you can explore, including an old post office, several boarding houses, a blacksmith, and a bunch more. But I think our favorite place was the old fashioned saloon. Immediately when you walk into this place, you can imagine the music playing, cowboys drinking whiskey and playing poker, some cabaret on the stage. But what's great about this saloon and 1880s town in general is that you can literally walk through all the buildings and just explore them. There's no one breathing down your neck telling you not to touch stuff. It's great for kids, it's great for families, and it's a lot of fun to explore. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And there we go. The third place we stopped was at Bear Country USA, which is a drive through wildlife park in Rapid City. It takes about an hour to drive through, and you'll see everything from elk to bighorn sheep to coyote to wolves. But the one thing you are guaranteed to see a ton of are bears. There are literally bears everywhere, and these guys will come right up to your car. It's just really cool to see them so up close and personal. After getting out of the drive through wildlife park, they have the zoo area where they have a bunch of smaller animals. We saw badgers, a bobcat, lynx, snow foxes, but I think our favorite part was watching the bear cubs play. These guys were so much fun to watch. I honestly think we could have sat and watched them play all day. Just the bear itself is the right one. So we love it. Come again. Our first three stops in South Dakota were a blast. From the Corn Palace, to 1880s Town, to Bear Country, USA, we definitely had a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along, and don't forget to like and subscribe.